Uh, I was very blessed to have three children. Uh, we lost one when, it, when he was two, but we were very blessed again um, when we were able to adopt a child. Back in those days, uh, you didn't know when, when a lady was expecting whether it was a boy or a girl. It was whatever, and we were very fortunate. Whatever. <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> very fortunate it was a boy. and. Uh, Anyway, it, it, it chokes me up because so I love him to pieces. Uh, he's in the military, he's in Israel and Egypt right now. And, uh, it's hard. It brings you days in it. But he's doing what he wants to do, and I have to honor that. So, when they were young and kids. What causes for you, Daniel? Not me. <laughs> when they were kids, um, that song I just did, The Footbridge, was a song they always got me to sing for them at Halloween. They invite like, the friends over, sing that song, the scary one. <laughs> but I, I, I used, we had so much fun. And, and uh, I, I wrote this foolish little song for them. And I told Jeff, I'll sing it tonight. Because it's, it's a kid's song, because it just shows a flip side of a songwriter. Sometimes you just sit around and think of stupid things and you write a song about it. So you'll see what I mean. It's called, Does a Duck Have Lips? <laughs> song I'd sing, but when I mentioned marriage, the golden ring, she'd just look at me and she'd say, does a duck have lips, does a frog have ears, do snakes have armpits, does a chicken have teeth, do camels lay eggs, do penguins use ice picks? Well, I married that girl about five years later, started having kids like we were planting potatoes, got a lot of looks from a lot of our neighbors when the kids started going to school. See the teacher teach about Washington, about science and history and one and one. I guess they showed the teacher who was dumb when they'd look at that teacher and say, Does a duck have lips? Does a frog have ears? Do snakes have armpits? Does a chicken have teeth? Do camels lay eggs? Do penguins use ice picks? Does a duck have lips? Does a frog have ears? Do snakes have armpits? Does a chicken have teeth? Do camels lay eggs? Do penguins use ice picks? So as you can see, sometimes it's a lot of fun writing songs. <laughs> and uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's amazing. CJ and I were down to a, a convention today in Halifax. It's called Jesus to the Nation. It's a, it's a gospel um, conference that goes on for missions. And the, the um, what is, uh, what's the thing called? The little room where you go and listen to somebody? The thing. The thing I went to this morning was the songwriters group. <laughs> and uh, I learned something very, very, very tremendously this morning about that. That if you're writing a song, be careful not to write about I. There's so many people write the song about, well, I did this, and I did that, and me, 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 me. And it's, I, I learned a very, very valuable lesson this morning, you know. I thought, wow, oh, that's kind of neat. You're right. But we're going to do two more songs for you. Uh, they're off a gospel album that we're working on now. Both are from experiences. The first one is from a, a, an experience I had in Truro one day. Uh, again, CJ works at Mingo Music. And back in a, a few years, when I wrote this, the Scotia Bank used to be right across the street there. So I pull up and I, I get up and I, I go in to get some cash out of, the, out of the ATM machine. 
And when I come out, there's this person on the street asking me for money, and I said, no, 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 I, I, don't, I don't have any, you know, so I brush them off and off, I go back to the car. I sit in the car and I look down between the seats and the console, and there's all kinds of change there, because, you know, I go through Tim Hortons, chuck the change in the thing, thing in the middle, I don't know how much I had there, and I thought, I should go over and give that to them. And then I said, no, no, the CJ came out and we took off. And that burnt me for a long time. I thought, why didn't I do that? And uh, it inspired a song. A man on the corner asks me for some change. His hands are shaking and his eyes filled with rage. I reached for my wallet and pulled out a bill. How do I know that I'm doing God's will? Tell me, how do I know that I'm doing God's will? How do I know that he won't run away? Go back to the beast that made him this way. I'm helping my brother, but I'm wondering still.
You know, I uh, talked a little bit earlier.